Hello, this is Sarah Phoenix, and for my first video I wanted to talk about snow in Texas. Snow is something that many people have across the globe, in the United States, but here in Texas, I mean, it's just, it hasn't snowed in years. So when it did snow, we weren't expecting shit to hit the proverbial fan like it did. The lights going off, the water going off. In the beginning, everything was magical, cold. cold. We as Texans, you know, don't experience that as much. I personally experienced snow a few times in my life. I did live in Portland uh, for a bit over a year, and we like traveled to Seattle, and we experienced snow in both areas. We went to Canada. Wow. Anyways, so we experienced snow and it was fun. But here in Texas, I mean, maybe a few times it snowed, but it was like half an inch. This is actually the most it snowed that I've experienced. Texas is probably like three to four inches. So that was pretty cool. So the snow came down and it was a cool experience. A lot of people were outside. Some people were sledding off of hills. Some people made snowmen. So it was, it was a pretty good experience. I also wanted um, to experience snow and I was excited that snow came it's been years since I've seen snow. The last time I saw snow was actually when I went to Estes Park, Colorado. I'm actually bringing out my cup souvenir. Had a good experience there, went hiking, it was, it was fun. And I actually wanted to travel this year to a similar place, maybe see Yosemite in California, but of course that didn't happen because of COVID and you know a lot of people's travel plans have been like nipped in the bud so I was like eh, it's okay I'll go maybe a different time but snow came to us so I was actually excited about that I was planning on you know having a normal experience with it I work from home so I couldn't realistically go during like business hours What ended up occurring with the power outages, everyone's schedule ended up being messed up. First, the power went out. We didn't really pay any mind to it. A lot of people were experiencing the same thing and we thought maybe it would come back on because usually that that typically happens a few hours later, or at least the next morning, it'll go on. When we found out when the lights went off in the morning and it became evening that it wasn't going to come back anytime soon, we broke out the candles, camping equipment to cook food, and flashlights. Later that night, the water went off, so the next morning we decided to go to a relative's abode to access their electricity, water, and obviously Wi-Fi because I did have work, you know? But the night before, we huddled up in, honestly, multiple layers, like hats, sweatshirts, devil blankets, the whole shebang, just to keep warm because it got pretty cold inside, like pretty freezing, freezing inside. inside. That night, it was kind of hard to sleep. No one really got a full sleep. We kept waking up, but it wasn't like tragic or anything, you know? It was like, it was manageable. We still slept. But yeah, once the water went and all that since we had that available resource we went to our relatives and yeah that was great the lights and the electricity were still operable in the dallas that dallas area at least so we were there for two nights and two days pretty much without a hitch i mean there was one 
moment of oh no when like some blaring siren or whatever kept going on. Yeah, I mean, it ended up just being a, I think a plumbing leak or a burst pipe that they would get fixed. So nothing like the whole grid shut off, you know, like we were experiencing. Yeah, while we were listening to the radio on the way there, we heard some facts like it was negative two, which is the second low it's, it's been since 1899, where it was negative eight degrees. So yeah, it's honestly, one of the coldest it's been, and it was a good thing that we had that backup. A lot of people just toughed it out. Some people went in their cars, like we saw some neighbors go in their car for warmth. I mean, you really got to do what you got to do. We had that family member, so I guess we're one of like, the luckier ones. Plus, I will say some people who have family members, maybe they didn't go because the roads were icy. Yeah, they put like salt on the roads, but only the main ones, some areas, they were still dangerous to drive. Yeah, this is like a day or two, like after. They, they got the, they got the hang of it, like eventually. I remember when we were in Portland, we had the chains that you attach to your tire so that you'd have better traction on the icy roads. You didn't see any of the cars utilize that. Heck, I don't even think that they would know to do that. When we lived in the Pacific Northwest, I mean, it was like a given that you would put those on your tires when there's icy conditions, especially if you're up in the mountains and you're driving up in the mountains. As we were in the apartment, we every so often called the neighbors to see what was happening, what they were doing, what their solutions were, and eventually found out that the lights and the water came back on, so we made the trek back. Basically, what I learned from this experience is I still love snow, but um, the state of Texas needed to maybe... What I learned from this experience is that snow is still fun and it's still great, but there are things that come with it, like cold, cold power outages, icy roads, stores closing, certain grocery stores are open, but you know, they didn't have everything in stock. Yeah, while all this was happening, I took videos of certain things because I thought scenically snow is great to look at and I haven't seen that much snow in Texas, so I even drove around Dallas, downtown Dallas, and took some shots, which I'll insert. I hope you enjoyed my unique experience. Bear with all my fidgeting because this is my first YouTube video where I'm just staring into the camera and being like, haha, what the heck do I talk about? I actually have my laptop, like, in order not to stray, but that didn't work out well. I went on tangents still. But yeah, we'll try to upload weekly. I'm starting social media and those all will be new and they'll be linked down below. The other videos hopefully won't be this awkward <laughs> so please like and subscribe comment uh yeah and hopefully i'll see you in the next video and goodbye